Welcome back, I'm Kyle Benzion. The Florida Gator football team improved to 3-0 in, in SEC play this weekend against Kentucky. Let's check out the highlights. In the first half, Mike Gillisley ran for this one-yard touchdown run, his fifth touchdown of the year. Then Jalen Watkins picked off Morgan Newton and took it 26 yards to the house. The Gators continued to pour it on. Jeff Driscoll finds Quinton Dunbar down the middle for a 19-yard hookup for the TD, and the Gators go on to win 38-0. Florida has a, now has a weekend off before taking on LSU. Head coach Will Muschamp says this could be helpful for the players' injuries, but could halt the momentum. Yeah, I can probably give you a list of very positive things and a list of very negative things at the end of the day. The result next Saturday uh, will be determined how good of an offer it was for us. And that's, that's really at the end of the day how and there was some movement atop the polls this week. In the AP poll, Florida's next opponent, LSU, dropped to third after a close win against Auburn. Alabama sits atop the poll, followed by Oregon, LSU, Florida State, and Georgia. The Gators jumped from 14 to 11 after the win against Kentucky. And the Florida Gator volleyball team rudely welcomed new SEC member Missouri to the conference with a 3-0 sweep over the Tigers. The Gators were led by freshman Jeeva Raychek, who finished with 15 kills and 11 digs. Chloe Mon added 12 kills for Florida. It was alumni weekend as the team had several Gators come back to town. The alums sat down with current players and told them to appreciate all their time at Florida. I really think that last week it will be one of the, the, the weekends that I'll treasure the most when, you know, all said and done because of how excited those alums were to bring their families to show their, their children what the Gator Nation is all about. And the Florida soccer team had a great weekend to improve to 3-1 and one in SEC play. Florida knocked off Tennessee Friday 2-1 to one and then rolled over Georgia 4-1 to one on Sunday. The Gators jumped Tennessee and Georgia in the standings after the weekend and now sit in third in the SEC East. I think any time we can get the six points and especially against two teams that are rivals um, as well as teams that were ahead of us in the East initially, um, we are happy with that result. And over to pro football, some close games around the league this week. The Jacksonville Jaguars were in a dogfight in Indianapolis on Sunday. Let's jump to the second half. Here's Maurice Jones' drew 59-yard touchdown run as fantasy owners must be happy. Then trailing with just 45 seconds left, Blaine Gabbert finds Cecil Shorts for an 80-yard touchdown, and the Jaguars get the 22-17 win over the Colts on Sunday. And not all the teams from the state of Florida had as much success as the Jags did this weekend. The Tampa Bay Bucks fell to the Dallas Cowboys 16-10. The Bucks managed only 166 yards of total offense. And the Miami Dolphins lost a heartbreaker in overtime to the New York Jets 23-20. Jets kicker Nick Folk sealed the game with his 33-yard field goal in overtime. And a big game wraps up week three of the NFL season tonight. The Green Bay Packers will travel to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Both teams will try to improve to 2-1 on the season. Kickoff is set for 8.30. So it seems like there's a lot going on. You know, who should we look out for tonight in the big game? You know, Caitlin, definitely Aaron Rodgers, the reigning MVP of the league. A lot of eyes are going to be on him. He's got to perform well tonight. Oh, sounds like an exciting game. Thanks so much, Kyle. And we'll have more news after the break. Stay with us.